Thanks. Breaking at three, two people are dead and two children are in the hospital from carbon monoxide poisoning. A family of five lost power and then made the fatal mistake of hooking up a generator inside their house. Wing News reporter Michael Hudak joins us now live in Pine Manor. Michael, any updates on the kids? We know that they were unconscious when they were found and had to be rushed to a local hospital. But according to the people here at South Trail Fire Russ, they are alive. And that's what matters. And so was a third person who had to be rescued from that house. But that's about all we know right now. Saturday night, a series of storms knocked out power to parts of Lee County, including along Fifth Avenue in Pine Manor. South Trail Fire said when the power went out at this family's home on 5425 Fifth Avenue, they powered up their generator. And that's the generator that you see on your screen right now. But instead of leaving it 20 feet from their home like you're supposed to, they brought the generator inside the house and left it running in the family living room when they went to sleep. There were five patients inside of a home. The generator was running on the inside of the home and our firefighters needed to rescue uh, two people from the inside. Neighbors had already removed uh, three others, uh, three adults and uh, two children. One was an infant, one was a toddler, was uh, transported to the area hospitals, local hospitals, and two people did pass away from carbon monoxide poisoning. I mean, it's just awful. You might think, oh, leaving a generator away from the home by at least 20 feet and not bring it in inside your home, that's common sense. But South Trail Fire told me common sense might not be all that common to people moving here from other countries or someone that hasn't owned a home before or used a generator before. So I am going to lay out everything you need to know to prevent tragedies like this from happening to your family on Wink News at 5 o'clock. For now, reporting in Lee County, Michael Hudak, Wink News.